our prisoner. The others are our guests. You sneaking redskin, I'll get even with you for this. Rawhide make good rope to tie wild animals with. Lone Ranger, aren't you? One of me is the Lone Ranger. Washington sent Jeffries to Texas because of his record as a just and honest administrator. And until I found that reward notice, I couldn't understand why he'd become such a fiend, such an unscrupulous villain. Had you ever met uh, the real Jeffries before you came to Texas? 
No. A wounded trooper gave us some information once. It might be interesting to you, Mr. Blanchard. The man died later, but he swore that what he said was true. This fellow seems to be somebody important. I thought maybe you might like to see him. I must warn you, sir, that you're interfering with the federal government. It will not be tolerated. I demand that you take me to Pecos at once. So you're Colonel Marcus Jeffries, the newly appointed Commissioner of Finance of the state of Texas. I am. It says here that you're commissioned by the United States Treasury Department to enforce tax collection in this state. Take Colonel Marcus Jeffries outside and uh, show him that view of the valley. I think he'll find it very interesting. This piece of paper puts the wealth of Texas in the palm of my hand. So Colonel Marcus Jeffries died. And this renegade outlaw took over his credentials and used his name. Now I begin to see. But how did the Lone Ranger come into being? The Texas Rangers served as a company in the Civil War. And when the war was over, and they were returning to their native state, Looks like you and your rangers come along, Justin. Sure does, Joe. Here. What happened to your horse? Jeffrey's tax collectors took him away from me. Left me foot. You've heard about Jeffrey's and his methods. That's one of the reasons we're heading for Pecos. Count on me if I can help. That's the spirit. We'll give you one of our extra horses to get back on. Thanks, right, yeah. Where do you reckon we're going to camp tonight, Captain? At Grand Pass. We'll rest up there before moving on to Pecos. You all right, Joe? Yeah. I'll be leaving you here, Captain. But I won't forget what you've done for me. That's all right, Joe. Take care of yourself.
was an unforgettable massacre. Cowards. But of all those rangers, there was one who still lived. until those deaths are avenged. What a tremendous task the Lone Ranger had before him. And still has. I hope that spy Joe Sneed got what is coming to him. He did. He had promised Jeffrey that he would throw open the gates to the stockade so that Jeffrey's troopers could ride in and slaughter the ranchers who were holding out there. The Lone Ranger knew of this and was riding to stop it. What do you intend doing with the prisoner? Uh, Why, he's gone. White man used water to loosen rawhide. All Indian trick. He's taken the Lone Ranger's gun. Spread out and search for him. He's in the cavern somewhere. Sammy, you stay here. Come on, Tato. at a time, so don't make a move. Come on. Stand close to that kid or I'll start shooting. Now, where's the Indian and those other two? Come on. Get near that kid. No. Not no good. Loud noise make here for maybe whole roof. All of you, get out there where I can see you. Don't show up, I'm gonna start shooting. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, I ain't just talking. 